Launch day is complete. Tell me how I'm supposed to carry on working. First time I've ever done a hamper like that. This is what I'm wearing today. Thanks for making such a mess on my bed. Officially in my new home. House tour. Good merry morning. It is Monday morning for me right now. I had a sunny side launch last Friday. I had the weekend off because my friend Becca came to stay from Brighton and it was so nice to fully switch off for a weekend. But it's now Monday morning. I've got lots of orders to pack from the launch. I think I'm gonna be here all day today. Fingers crossed I can get them all done in one day. I'm gonna film some of this packing, some of this organizing, but I have got a lot to do. So I can't guarantee the Monday section of this vlog is gonna be too long, but I will try my best. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday so far. And um, without further ado, let's get packing. I'm more than just nine to I just realized I was supposed to put sweets in the first 60 orders. These are the best sweets on the planet. I did it guys. 4.29, the post office shuts in half an hour. So I need to bag these up and get to the post office, but launch day is complete. So these are all the small parcels here. These are the large letters and these pink bags are the international parcels. That's the most internationals I've ever had in one day. We've got New Zealand, the US, Hawaii, France, Australia, a whole mixture in there today. Today I look like a mum who runs a business and whose kids are currently at school. They're going to get home at 3pm, I'm going to take them to dancing or football or whatever, cook them some healthy meal and have a regimented bedtime routine. Not sure why, just giving myself those vibes today. In reality, I had a Whisper Gold and a Red Bull for lunch. Never judge a book by its cover. Anyway, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It's actually 5 17 p.m. Today has well and truly been a work on my laptop day. I have literally been sat in my bedroom on my bed all day today on my laptop. I wrote my first contract for my supplier today, guys. I wrote a contract using a template on the internet, but we won't talk about that. But you know what? Since my life has diversified a bit, I actually really enjoy my laptop days now. I used to despise them. I used to think it was so boring. Now, I find it very relaxing to sit at home and work on my laptop for a day. And my little petit pois. This section of the vlog is very kindly sponsored by the team over at Surfshark. My trusty monthly sponsor. They are a team of angels, honestly. If you haven't heard me talk about Surfshark before, let me introduce you. Surfshark is a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private network and I would not use the internet without it now. It's a browser extension, I use it with Google Chrome and it's essentially an underground tunnel to the internet. It keeps you, your information, your bank details, your card details all safe when you're using the internet. How does it do that Han? I hear you ask. When you use Surfshark you can connect to different places all around the country or even globally and it will give you a new IP address. Your IP address is how hackers access your information, it is basically the portal between you and them. So when you're given a new IP address, it throws the hackers off. They might think you're in America, Australia, Canada, wherever you've chosen on your internet hollybobs. But it means one, they can't access your information because they don't know where you are. And two, you can access the internet as if you're in whichever country you've connected to. So if you've connected to Australia, you can access the internet as if you're in Australia. Australian Netflix. 
never looked at Australian Netflix actually, but if they've all got Australian accents, sign me up. So if you're interested in downloading Surfshark, I will leave a link in the description down below. And they've got an even better deal than usual for this month. But if you use the code FABULOUS at checkout, you can get 83% off and three months extra free. And Surfshark is also giving away their antivirus free for this month and this month only. So if you're gonna sign up for Surfshark, do it in June. Like I said, there's a link down below. Go and keep yourself safe and have a little internet holiday to Australia while you're at it. Thank you very much to Surfshark for very kindly sponsoring this vlog. Now I'm off to pick up the kids, take them to football, cook the healthy dinner and have the regimented bedtime routine. All in a day's work. Good morning, it is now Wednesday. It's the first of June today, <laughs> summer. Mum and I are out to go for lunch today. I don't really know why we've chosen to go for lunch. There's no occasion other than just we felt like it. So we're just gonna go to a local garden centre, I think, and just get jacket potato, I fancy. Yeah, we've got Sunny with us in the back because they are dog friendly. I had a look at the menu this morning. I think I might have a coronation chicken jacket potato or a tuna mayo. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll bring you with us. It's a really nice little cafe that we're going to, very friendly. And Sunny's excited too. She's definitely not. Also, I just filled up my car with petrol. Diesel. Not petrol, diesel. Yeah, yeah, definitely diesel. 70 pounds to fill it up. It used to be 55. But I'm not gonna talk about petrol prices because that's really boring. I've gone for the coronation chicken jacket potato. I always think coronation chicken doesn't look the nicest, no, does it? It looks like it should be curried, but it's not. It's actually quite sweet if you've never tried it. It's really nice. And then mum's got beans and cheese jacket potato. You can't go wrong with that. It comes with a little coleslaw side salad yum it's such a nice day as well it's so warm sunny's down here in the shade with her water you being a good girl good she's girl. tired now i was just doing the orders for the day sat down for two minutes to check my phone tell me how i'm supposed to carry on working when this little cutie wants a cuddle oh she literally climbed up onto my lap as well she was sat next to me and then she climbed up here bless her you guys in the last vlog were saying you want to see sunny more so tomorrow i'm going to try and make sure that i film a little bit of like a day in her life or should i do that as a separate video let me know if you want another one of those i did one before and you guys actually really enjoyed it but tomorrow i'll definitely film some more of her because you seem to have missed her i thought i showed her too much i thought everyone would get sick of me talking about the dog but apparently not i mean i don't blame you she is adorable. Have you missed everyone? She's a sleepy girl today. We've come over to Priory Park this morning for a nice quiet walk. Didn't realise the circus is here. Um, so it's actually really busy. There's also Platinum Jubilee stuff happening. So we didn't really plan this very well. Sunny, are you at the circus? <laughs> in my new home i'm outside on the driveway <laughs> i've moved out guys it's a miracle obviously joking i am in our new caravan right now if you watched my last video the mukbang i explained a little bit about this it's a bit of a long story but i'll keep it short and sweet in this vlog if you want to hear the full story go and watch the mukbang but basically we've got a caravan now there is reasoning behind it and i thought i would show you guys the caravan in this vlog because i'm sure there'll be vlogs coming from this caravan in the future when we do dog events around the country etc etc so let me introduce you to the new gaff do you know what it's actually really nice i'll say it here first i was against the idea of a caravan at first we used to do caravan holidays all the time as a kid i don't have an answer for that Oh. Is there something else I can help with? We used to do caravan holidays all the time as a kid, absolutely loved it, but but that was obviously years ago and caravans have updated since then. I won't go too into detail because how many people are actually interested in a caravan, not sure, but I will show you it. Here's a little house tour on wheels edition. So as you come in, this is what you're greeted with. This is the kitchen area 
Isn't it nice? Like the colours, the creams are really nice, the light oak looks lovely. It's a very homely feel. Over to the left, this is the lounge area. And these seats pull out and meet in the middle and make a big double bed. So there's plenty of room for me and Sunny to sleep on here. So sorry the lighting isn't great, but we've got these drawers down the front. This bit folds out into a little breakfast table, if you will. Oh, there we go, slidey slide. So you can sit here in the morning with a coffee. The telly's over there. There's cupboards on top of the lounge area as well and some built-in speakers. I'm not sure how much we'll use them, but they're there. And then in these cupboards, this one, oh, the essentials my dad's put in here, the wine and the wine glasses. Obviously, we'll have some sort of organisation so that we can travel with stuff in these. Over around this side, what's in here? This is a surprise to me too. We've got some Kellogg's and some biscuits. The epitome of health. Oh, and some hidden crisps in there. That is a good hidden snack compartment. There's also storage underneath the seats. Again, no idea. Technical stuff, I think. But there's a compartment both sides, so plenty of storage. I had the lovely job of shampooing all the cushions. It was a really nice day outside, though, to be fair, so it was nice in it in the garden. Back to the kitchen. Look how good this is. Well nifty. Got a little extendable worktop. Put all your veg on or your plates or whatever. Then, like I briefly mentioned, the telly area is over here by the door. Also got the bin down there. Again, more storage. In here we have drinks. The telly came with the caravan, which was fab, so we haven't even got to buy a telly. We can also get Sky. We've got a satellite dish. Contrary to popular belief, Satellite by Harry Styles was written about this caravan and our satellite dish for the skybox. Another little cupboard up here. I think this is the cupboard I have claimed for, like, my makeup, skincare... Sunny's bits and bobs as well because it's just out of the way and easy. Behind the telly there is a little blind so you can open that so if you're like laying in bed you can swizzle the telly round. Watch telly in bed. Perfect. Back to the kitchen in a bit more detail. So this is what we have. Cupboards up here, plates, bowls, mugs, etc. A little microwave and the tea and coffee cupboard. We've got a fridge as well. Look at those blue LEDs in there. Fancy and a white wine. All the essentials in this family, I'm telling you. <laughs> Little hidden cutlery drawer. Oh my gosh, I think these are the same as they are. These are the same knives and forks that we used to have in our caravan years ago when I was a child. Honestly, that brings such back nostalgic memories. In this one, we have more utensils and a pizza cutter. This cupboard is the spice slash tinned items. We've got pears, custard and jam. So if you've got a sweet tooth, you're all right. Then we have the oven, the hob. Not going to go into detail about that because boring. And down underneath there is where the saucepans are. Then moving around to the right, this is the fixed bed. I believe this is called a French bed, like where the corner's cut off so you can walk past it. But it is still a double bed. It also has this little, um, how does this work? This little like divider thing, it just goes across like that, I guess, like if you're getting changed or whatever. Then over this side, there is a wardrobe. Tell me how they fit all of this in a caravan. Honestly, I don't get it. So this opens up like so. Got some shelves, got a little hanging rail, barbecue in the wardrobe, standard. Another barbecue, I think, down there. Then above the bed, there are three compartments, which is super handy, one for each of us. Couple of little shelves up here. Oh, and then down here, got mirror. Hello, that's me. In me new gaff. This is like a full-on dining table, so you can get that out, put it down there, all linked in around the table together. And then right at the back is the bathroom. So we've got the toilet. Let me close this window now. There was a fly in here, so I'll shut the window temporarily. But yeah, toilet, sink, some little shelves and a cupboard, perfect for shower gel, skincare, sponges, you name it. And then this is the shower. It's actually a really big bathroom considering we're in a caravan right now. I remember in our last caravan, it was like the toilet was tiny. So you'd sit on the toilet and then the whole thing like converted into the shower. So you would just shower and the toilet would get wet. Does that make sense? There was like a curtain that went round it, but it was literally like you had to stand in the shower and then you turn the shower off and you dry yourself in that same spot. It just wasn't as nice. Whereas this is like there's actually room to get out of the shower dry yourself with plenty of space around and then this bar up here is that doesn't stay up there obviously that's to hang clothes on to dry so yeah that's the bathroom i can't tell you how roomy it feels in here honestly for a caravan bathroom it feels very luxurious this is where i'll be brushing my teeth before the dog events 
when I hopefully meet some of you guys there and your dogs. That's a radiator by the way, isn't it a funky shape? But yeah, that is, I think, everything that I've got to show you in the caravan. This might have been a really boring vlog segment. I'm awfully sorry if it was, but we're all excited about the prospect of going away. The part I'm most excited about though, it's not even like the next year or so. We've got some trips planned already, but I'm excited for, hopefully years down the line, there will be grandchildren, my children, my brother's children. Oh, there's a fly buzzing around. Sorry if you can hear it. Yeah, hopefully there'll be little kiddos in the family. And I would love one day to go away with like my parents in this caravan. I would probably not even hire a caravan to tow. It's a lot of faff, not gonna lie. I don't think I would buy a caravan. Never say never, but it is a lot of work. But you know, you can hire those ones that are like stuck to the ground. <laughs> What are they called? Mobile homes? To hire one of those and all be on like the same little site. And I really want to have caravanning holidays as part of my children's childhood because I loved it so much. I think it's very character building as well. I just think that would be really nice in the future and it makes me excited for those times having this caravan. I mean, long way off. But one day, I think it'll be lovely. Guess who gets excited when the Prosecco comes out? I don't know why. Sunny just loves corks. She doesn't eat it, don't worry. I know I'm going to get comments or people might think she's swallowed in that she doesn't she's really fussy with what she actually eats she just loves chewing it apart don't you she's like, give it back i've been sat right here with her while she's been doing this by the way and this happened in the space of probably no more than about four minutes so she's supervised don't worry thanks for making such a mess on my bed i really appreciate that thank you very much for doing that on my bed that was so nice of you let's get it out your moustache oh is it in your fur yep yeah, it is it's in your legs lovely bit of artwork you did there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sunny, we've got to take a thumbnail. <gasps> good girl. <gasps> oh, no, good morning. I'm ready early this morning, look at me go. I haven't got to leave my house for another three minutes yet and I'm sat here vlogging. I'm about to look at the menu as well because I'm out for breakfast with two of my friends today. Just a very casual catch up, we're going to Bill's. I'm hungry this morning, I think I fancy like a traditional full English. Sausage, beans, egg, all that kind of jazz. And I haven't had a Bill's breakfast for so long, literally years, and it's incredible. Love it, highly recommend if you're ever in a town where Bill's are. But that's my plan for this bank holiday, gonna meet them for breakfast, and then I'm gonna go to a barbecue this afternoon with my friend Leanne and both our families. So a very food orientated bank holiday for me. This is what I'm wearing today. Please ignore the mess in the background. I need to sort my bedroom out at some point. I'll do it over this weekend. But my top is from Primark. This shirt, I don't know where this was from. Old oh, top shop. Wow, throwback. These trousers are also Primark. They're the ones that I bought a couple of weeks ago. And I'm just gonna put my Nike blazers on. They're down here. Very casual, it's warm, but it's still quite early on in the day. So it's not like hot yet. So I thought this little shirt would just be Perfect. My bag also matches my outfit very well today. Look at me, coordinated queen. So I've just got back from the little barbecue. I met my best friend Leanne, her family there, my family all went. We took Sunny as well. She was really good, but it was nice to catch up with everyone this afternoon. Went straight from brunch to there. So yeah, we've actually had quite a sociable day today for our Jubilee bank holiday. And I've just wrapped this up. So it's my boyfriend's sister's birthday tomorrow. And we've joined up on a present for her and I've just got it all ready to take over tomorrow. And I'm so pleased with it, so I wanna show you guys. So I got this hamper kit, which comes with the basket, the cellophane and the ribbon. Doesn't it looks so cute and then we've gone for like a little polaroid theme so we've got her the camera the film the scrapbook and this little jelly cat of sushi because she loves sushi but i think it looks like such a nice little hamper all together and it was really easy to put together doing all this cellophane stuff i mean it probably doesn't look the most professional but i think it looks pretty good first time i've ever done a hamper like that I'm quite impressed. Anyway, I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair and fake tan now. My tan is looking very patchy everywhere, so I'm gonna scrub it off and start fresh. But thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below, did you celebrate the Jubilee this weekend? Did you have a street party? Did you go to a local barbecue or anything? Let me know. I wanna say a big thank you to Surfshark for very kindly sponsoring this vlog. Don't forget, there is a link in the description down below for the exclusive offer this month. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are having a lovely Sunday and I will see you again next Sunday with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.